be not ashamed of mistakes and thus make them crimes. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. The superior man understands what is right. The inferior man understands what will sell. By nature, men are nearly alike. By practice, they get to be wide apart. He who will not economize will have to agonize. When we see men of a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. He with whom neither slander that gradually soaks into the mind, nor statements that startle like a wound in the flesh, are successful may be called intelligent indeed. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? Ignorance is the night of the mind, but a night without moon and star. It is easy to hate, and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? To be able under all circumstances to practice five things constitutes perfect virtue. These five things are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness and kindness. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. They must often change who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. What the superior man seeks is in himself. What the small man seeks is in others. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. The superior man, when resting in safety, does not forget that danger may come. When in a state of security, he does not forget the possibility of ruin. When all is orderly, he does not forget that disorder may come. Thus, his person is not endangered, and his states and all their clans are preserved. When young, beware of fighting. When strong, beware of sex. And when old, beware old possession.